can you hear the damn regular audio? How do you expect anybody to watch TV with this torture crap, anyways? This is probably the worst place I've seen ever. Walkie talkie connected to the computer. I got a two way transceiver coming on here, so we do it. Kind of sounds like brain entrainment is tracking the targets, from what I can make out on that.
I'm going to pause it right there. Uh, I need to kind of explain this a little bit. Now, normally, you wouldn't hear this, and we've tested this on different televisions. What we've got is software-defined radio, and it isolates the signal. And what you've been hearing, the brain entrainment is tracking the targets. Uh, and the thing before that with the, with the woman sounded voice about targeting, that is a subliminal audio message. You see, now my SDR is just picking up the, re, you, the transceiver communicating with the two-way radio. And basically, this is a USB uh, transceiver. You know, these can be bought at Walmart. I modified this one and added a sound, uh, a USB audio sound card to it. And an external speaker to sort of amplify it a little bit. And, of course, then I got an antenna up here. And what that does is it communicates with this two-way radio, which is just a handheld. You know, these are like 20 bucks at Walmart, too. This is a Uden. Uh, th this is a Midland radio. These are FRS. You know, they, they're around 474 megahertz. These go for like $30. And basically what I made mine into is a software-defined radio that's actually interfaced with this. And, you know, anything that, any wireless signal that's being beamed at my house uh, for torture purposes, for, you know, to make me hear things in my head or on my television set or whatever, you know, a lot of people have had a problem with this. Like, I don't necessarily hear a lot of things in my head. I just usually end up hearing it on televisions and radios and things like that. And I think it's because I've been subject to this abuse for so many years, over five years now. I have just gotten used to blocking it out and ignoring it. And now it's gotten so blatant and so unignorable, you can't even watch television anymore. So... That's the reason I'm sitting here recording this, and I'm actually showing people uh, by doing these videos how you can record it. You can actually decode subliminal audio messages that are in cable feeds, and all this this television I'm watching is is from cable TV. I have a, a cable TV tuner card in this computer, and we're on Time Warner cable here. So, and this is a software defined radio. It's called SDR. It is a free software. I've added some plugins. I've, you know, they enhance it a little bit uh, with scanner type things for listening to the police and different radio frequencies and things like that. Uh, but this is just using the uh, the actual sound card, so it's not actually using any kind of tuner right now. I have different options set up in here where I can use different. Uh, you know, radio receiving tuners and things like that to pick up anything from NASA space station, aircraft, to police, fire, or whatever, any two-way radio transmission, even, you know, cellular communications. Um, so, just to explain a little bit about the software, and I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the, uh, show, and you can hear the rest of, uh, the subliminal audio message that I'm currently decoding in this video. And the computer does talk. It says a bunch of other things. It's kind of, I got a little artificial intelligence program that talks when you do certain things. So that's what that was.
Now we can try it without the SDR and see if it makes a difference. Just for the heck of it, we'll hit stop on here. See if it changes anything. And close that out. Doesn't seem like it made a difference. And that uh, that concludes the video. And uh, like I, just to give you a little info, I got a chair here with a computer monitor on it, and I sit here and record these things, and I throw them on the internet for other people to look at. Other targeted individuals and uh, people that may not know what's going on with them, um, but uh, they say strange. They've been hearing strange things coming out of their televisions and radios, and people have been saying strange things on to them on the street. And this uh, brain entrainment program is directly connected to that. Um, you know, you could hear the the robot sound and voice in the background, and actually. On this computer, it uh, it tunes into it so well, it like you would normally barely, if at all, hear it on regular television. But on this computer with this tuner card, it's so sensitive to picking it up, you can hear it over the rest of the audio on the channel. And uh, you know, and that's and then it you could hear it saying brain entrainment is tracking the targets and this whole targeting th Americans here in the United States under the guise of terrorism this is one of the tools they use to do it basically they're brainwashing people with cable TV and radio and things like that and pointing these electronic devices at people's homes to interfere with all their electronics and make basically make their electronics a a brain entrainment device that can talk to you or they can send these subliminal audio messages through these things uh, like TV and, and radio and things like that and even in your head to program you to spy and track and harass the targets or whatever they may want you to do. I mean, I've even heard stories and testimonies from people that say they were used for uh, human trafficking and these type of things with this the same similar technology and the same uh, techniques to even being sex slaves and all kinds of different things and uh, prostitution rings and so there, there's a lot of stuff just going on out there and the FBI knows about it but they're in the same token they use a lot of the same techniques to spy on people and Corpus confessions and things like that, um, and I've pulled that out of their own MSL uh, reports, you know, so it's really hard to get anything done about this kind of thing. You almost have to sue your local or federal government to get it to go away, and that's what other people have been telling me. And with my the research I've been doing on this topic, is what I'm finding out. I don't even know why I'm being targeted, and I haven't for five years. Uh, you know, I can't even see where I'm on a terrorist watch list or anything like this. I don't know how I got sucked into this deal. If I used a tape measure in public and somebody turned me in, or if it's because I use a cell phone or something, I don't know. <laughs> you know, wrong place, wrong time, whatever, I don't know. So... But anyway, I hope this video was informative, and uh, I'm going to keep recording this stuff and keep putting it on the internet for people to look at. Thanks, and have a good day. Bye.